Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So before I start the video about how to get your fro going, I wanted to do a review for one of my sisters in Christ. She has her own soap business and she kindly sent me two soap bars to review. Her name is Artina and the name of her soap is soap business is Artina Sweet Suds. She is on Facebook and her name on Facebook is Artina Denmark. I'll leave that in the little description thingy and I'll also put it across the screen. Um, I'm going to be telling you all my honest review of, of these soaps towards the end of the video. So the first soap bar is this soap bar and it is so cute. I know my sister will probably love this because she loves anchors. So the first soap name is Underway and it is priced at $9.50. Now you guys, these are homemade soaps and they smell wonderful. I'm going to take it out of the package um, so I can show you all better you know, while it's down the plastic, but it smells wonderful. Like, it smells really good. The scent is honey almond, and it smells wonderful. The soap based ingredients is glycerin and detergent, free baby buttermilk. And so it's all natural homey um, ingredients. And I just think it's so wonderful how she did, like, these little designs. She has, like, tons of other little designs on her Facebook page, so be sure to check that out in the description box below. This is the second bar so that she sent me, and it's so cute. It's like little roses on top of here. It's like a rose scent. And the name of this soap bar is called Beauty for Ashes. It's $7.50. The base ingredients is coconut milk and glycerin. So I know this is probably gonna be very moisturizing. I cannot wait to use it. You know, things are really good. It's really good to get soaps that you know doesn't use really harsh ingredients and that you know that are handmade. Because so many times now, when you go in stores and you pick up soap, it has so many different things on the back that you can't even pronounce and read. And as well, I remember I used to get like bad, um, bad reactions. I used to get like bad reactions to certain soaps, like Dove. I cannot use Dove for the life of me because every time I use Dove, I have like a breakup. And so I won't say my skin is very sensitive, but you know, it doesn't do well with soaps that are not like, you know, handmade. And Shea Moisture is like one of the soaps I've been using. But I cannot wait to use these. And I'm going to come back and let you know my honest review of both of these um, towards the end of the video. So, stay tuned. And Artina, I hope, like I said, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Thank you so, so much for sending me out these soaps to review. That was very sweet of you. And, yeah. Check out her page, you guys, and grab you a bar. So, let's get started. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how to get the perfect little fro. Um, I know maybe in, like, two or three of my videos when I came on here with my afro out, um, a few people were like, how do you get your afro like that? How do you get your fro? Da, da, da. So, I was like, okay, let me make a video. It sucks that I can't come to you all to show you, like, the whole, whole detail. But pretty much I'm going to explain it to you and then I'm going to do, you know, give you all like a little preview. <laughs> so pretty much what I do every week, my routine, after I do my wash day, which I have here on my channel, um, I do a braid out, twist out, whatever, uh, braid and curl, twist and curl, whatever style I decide to do. And so I wear that out. I let it sit for about maybe three or four days, take it out, wear it out for three, four days. And then by the third or fourth day, my hair starts to drop and starts to get bigger and bigger, and bigger. And then eventually it'll shrink up into like this medium sized, small looking afro, like what you see right now. And you know, that's pretty much how I do it. So sometimes I go to sleep with my bonnet and sometimes I'm bad and I fall asleep without it, but I try to have my soap pillow by me. So I'll do that, but my hair is like smashed. So it'll, when I wake up, it'll be like, hold on. I gotta like, <laughs> it'll be like this right every time I wake up I'll, you know I'm like sleep on it like this and it'll come out like flat like this it also have like some little definition but it'll be like pretty much flat so so it'll be flat and so what I'll do is if I want to you know wear my fro for the day i show you what you're going to need. My best advice before I show you what you need, my best advice if you want an afro is, again, do a stretch style. So 
like after you do your wash day, put some tissue hand twist in your hair, braid out, put some braids in your hair, whatever. Style bantu knots, style your hair. Take it out, wear it out for those two or three days, and let your hair get old and out. Get a pick, hopefully you have a pick. If you're natural, you better have a pick. Get a pick and then start fluffing your hair. And you will get the best looking afro because your hair is already stretched. So with the afro, you don't want it, you don't want it to be really, really hard for you to get that afro if it's like really shrunken and wet from getting out the shower. And you definitely want to be picking wet hair. So I definitely advise you to do it on hair that's already been stretched and already been worn out so it has some, you know, some elasticity it can bounce back instead of just being dry and brittle and breaking or too wet and yeah, so that's my best that's my best tip. So let me show you what, what you'll need or how I refresh my afro. Here's the pick I'm telling you all about. This is the Shea Moisture Leave-In that I, you know, I did a review and I said I love this stuff. It's pretty much gone. I have to get another bottle. And you can choose any kind of sealant, moisturizer, whatever. So I'm gonna be using the Sultanicals Lock Roll Twist and Fro Out. You know, I love Sultanicals line. Like I love it. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and try to get my hair moisturized because it's not really dry because again, I do moisturize my hair, try to moisturize my hair throughout the week, but it's not like the best moisture. So I'm going to go ahead and start to spray my hair. And as I'm spraying my hair, I'm, I'm tugging. Oh. <laughs> I'm tugging. So take your hands. And start like, you know, like scrunching, scrunching the product in there, getting nice to moist, damp, whatever you want to call it. And then just start like fluffing at it with your hands. This is before you get your pick out, you guys. So as you can see, and then from the back, you're just taking your fingers like, like little crabs, <laughs> like little crab hands. And you're just going to be picking at your hair like that. Not too hard because you don't want to, you don't want your hair breaking off. You don't want to cause no breakage and shedding. So I'm not saying rip like little crab fingers and you just, you know, doing it lightly. And then I take like this much of my product, rub it in my hands, and I start to put that everywhere. Just to give it some more moisture. You don't have to do this stuff if you don't, if you feel like your hair is already moisturized enough. But again, I don't want to cause any kind of breakage to my hair when I go on with the pick. So. My hair is pretty much moisturized. I add a little bit more. Let me down there. You don't want it too damp because then you don't want it to shrink up too much. But after that, you can take your pick, hold, you know, hold your finger like this and just go through it like loosely. But don't, like, don't. Comb it. Oh, Lord, don't do that. No, no, no. That's what you don't do. Do not comb this whole thing all the way through your hair, okay? Take it, take your finger, take the pick, and just go like that. Bam. See how this part's taking on way more than the rest of the afro? That's what you want to start to do around your whole head, so. Again, not too tight because, again, we're not trying to cause any kind of breakage. We just want our afro to be popping like it's 1960 or 1950.
you can start to shape it, like pat it if you want. If you want that like loose look, you can just keep it kind of like, you know. I feel like they have both. I want it to be like a nice little shape. Same time, I like it to look more, you know, loose and natural. But this is pretty much your final result. It's, it's quick and easy. It's pretty easy. You know, don't need much. And even if you don't want to do a pick, as long as you stretch your hair with a style, you can just let it do its own natural afro and let it, you know, do like that. This is all, this can be how you do it. Even if you do stretch it, but you don't want that twist out look, you want the afro, all you have to do is do the same thing. Take that braid out the twist out and just take the ends of it. Take your hair by the end. Take your pick and just fluff it but just don't go don't don't go all the way through just pick at it but don't go all the way through so yeah this is it you guys so yeah so i hope you all enjoyed this video um so for anyone who asks me how I get my hair in my fro when I come on here, this this is what I always do. And I did see someone uh, recently, I'm subscribed to her channel, I think her name is Shalenda One or something like that. I think she just recently did an afro tutorial, but she used heat. And so me personally, I don't like to use heat on my hair because it breaks and it be dry and stuff. Even after I put all that stuff on there, it's very rarely that I will apply heat on my hair. But um, yeah, this is an alternative. So if you don't want, if you want to do heat or a big major looking fro, then yeah, go for it. But if you want to do something simple and cute and still be popping, <laughs> then this is quick and easy. So again, hope you all enjoyed this little tutorial, and I will see you all in my next video. If you are new, please hit the subscribe button, and if you are one of my ride or dies, thanks for keep riding along with me. We're going to be doing some big things this year. And my hair will be at two years natural in July. So let's keep, let's keep pushing towards that hair goal, you guys. So, yeah. Let me stop rambling now. <laughs> I will see you all in my next video. Bye.